custom audiences on Facebook, I get the frustration. Which custom audiences do you really need? Where do you find them in Ads Manager? And why would you ever want to target your own email list? These are all real concerns when you're running your own Facebook ads. Now I'm going to show you how to create your own custom audience on Facebook to lower the cost of your Facebook ad spend, but the other way to reduce your cost per conversion is by using copywriting techniques that convert. If you want to start writing Facebook ad copy that lowers your ad spend and increases conversions, but don't know where to start, check out my free Facebook ad copy planner to write ad copy that converts by saying exactly what your customers are already thinking. Click the link below this video for your free workbook. Anyways, there are three custom audiences that I'm going to show you how to create today. Let's head on over to the, your ads manager. The first custom audience we're going to create is the audience that is website traffic. So traffic that is going to any page on your website. The first thing to do is go into your ads manager and find audiences. If you don't know where that is, it's easiest to click on this little um, square box here and you will find audiences. So once you select the right pixel, go ahead and click on create audience. You'll create this as a custom audience and you'll choose website traffic, but click on all website visitors and choose the option that is people who vis visited specific web pages. I like to set this to 180 days, but it may depend on any kind of promotion that you're running. The 180s is the max. You may want to do only the last five days, seven days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. It all depends on the ad. Then I place the website into this box right here. I like to choose contains, um, especially if I'm just putting in the root domain of the website that I'm interested in gaining traffic on. And for this audience, we are not going to exclude anybody. We will talk more about how to exclude somebody or why you would want to do that in a future custom audience. So let's like name this ebook template.net visitors last 180 days and create the audience. Now it will take Ads Manager a few minutes to actually populate the data and get this audience ready for you. The next audience is customers that have visited a certain website, but not another. And where I typically like to use this is, for example, when somebody visits the order form, but they do not visit the thank you page. That means they did not actually purchase the product. So what I mean by this is let's hop inside of my ClickFunnels account here. So within my funnel here, I have the order form and then the confirmation page. So they have to get to the confirmation page only after they actually process the payment. So for this custom audience, how I will create this is by selecting people who have visited this page on my website specifically. And then I will exclude anybody who has seen this website. So let's go into Ads Manager. We will select Create Audience, Custom Audience, and Website Traffic. Here, we will select the same thing, people who visited specific web pages. Again, you can select your preferred amount of days. I like to use 180 unless I'm working on a specific campaign. So we want to target people who have visited the order form. So let's head over here and highlight the order form page. I also like to go into ClickFunnels and highlight this URL right here. 
And as I paste them side by side in Ads Manager, you might notice there's some slight differences in the URLs. That's why I like to copy and paste both. So we have now targeted people who have seen my order page. The next step is to exclude people who have seen the order confirmation page. So I come over here to my confirmation page or your thank you page, and I will paste that here under specific web pages. Again, in the same timeline, 180 days. I will also head on to ClickFunnels, highlight this order confirmation URL since it may be slightly different, and paste it here as well. And name this audience seen order form but did not purchase. And I will click create audience. So there's a few reasons why we might want to create this audience and mainly for retargeting. So this will become really important, especially if we're launching a course or we are setting some sort of deadline. We will be able to target people who specifically visited the order page but did not purchase. So if you've ever gone to a website and clicked on the add to cart but didn't purchase and then you head over to Facebook and you see an ad that says, hey, wait a minute, did you forget this? That's because they're targeting this exact audience. The last audience I'm going to create today is my email list. Just like before, we'll click on create audience, custom audience, and choose customer list. This gives you the option to add a file that includes customer lifetime value, one that does not, or if you use MailChimp, to import directly from MailChimp. I use ConvertKit, so I'm going to choose a file that doesn't include LTV. Facebook needs to see a CSV or text file to actually import this from your email provider. So first you have to select where you got this information from for the privacy of Facebook's users and your customers' privacy as well. So you may have got this from customers and partners. So maybe if you partner with an agency or source this from somewhere else. If you received it directly from your customers, maybe because they're already on your email list or they purchased from you, or from your partners. This is my personal email list. I'm going to choose direct from customers. And then I will upload file. Here's the file I downloaded from my email autoresponder. And that will start to load. And I will name this list. So I'm, I like to name my email list subscribers, and then the date. So I will put 10 3, 2019. This way I know whenever it's been too long since I've imported my list, or if I'm working specifically on a list growth campaign, that I need to go back and import my new subscribers to get the most accurate information into Facebook for ad purposes. So I usually like to just upload my email addresses and not the first name or any other identifiers. And I'll confirm this with Facebook. So this may take a second. It's uploaded um, 631 emails from my specific email list that I'm working on. And right now I'm going to click on done. I'll talk in another video about the lookalike audiences and how I would create that for each one of these. But for now, I just think that it's so important for you to realize the power behind these three different audiences. So why would I want to target my own email list, guys? This, this may seem a little strange to you at first, but let me explain a little launch campaign that I'm doing right now. I am actually testing 
an offer for a brand new product. And as my customers who are already on my list, they're getting exclusive access to something at a super, super, super low cost. And it's because they're my VIPs. So I'm calling them out directly for this offer. And typically when you target your own email list, you are not offering them another chance to opt into something. You're actually targeting them for something that's for sale. So whether it's a course launch or an extra early bird pricing or a brand new offer that you're creating and you want to create it live with them, these are great ways to use your own email list to get those low cost conversions because even though they're already on your email list, it doesn't mean that they're actually opening up your emails that you're sending about your offer. Once you set up these custom audiences, you'll be set up for creating your next high converting Facebook ad and take advantage of my free Facebook ads copy planner that helps you say exactly what your customers are thinking and rock your conversions. You can download it for free in the description below. Creating these custom audiences in Facebook is an effective way to lower your ad cost, increase conversions, and create red hot lookalike audiences to grow your business. Well, Ads Manager may change the look and the feel, the strategy behind these custom audiences in Facebook will benefit your business for the long run. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe for more weekly videos.